Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything's okay in your life. In this video, I will tell you about new crystals and crystal set suggestions. I actually thought a lot before making this video because crystals are a subject that has many alternatives and may differ situationally according to the each class and also gameplay. I know that I may not be able to make everyone like the sets. I try to prepare sets that are optimized and serve the purpose as much as I can. The purpose of the crystal sets I have prepared is to guide you. You don't have to copy exactly the same. Maybe it depends on your class and change a few crystals. First of all, I want to talk about newly added crystals to the game, the Mew. Then we can move on to the setups. First up first, the most valuable tier crystals added, which we can only wear one for each crystal setup. Let's start with the green tier crystal. Green tier crystal is purely crafted for PvE purpose. The values you see on the screen and especially the one person special attack have a great effect for PvE. On the other hand, the outstanding 10 person drop rate makes the crystal incredible. It is a crystal that you should definitely be used in spots where you don't have risk of that. High test tier is a crystal that should be used purely for defensive purpose in PvP. Would you look at these stats? I think this is the most OP of the new added crystal. A crystal that should be used in PvP regardless of DR or evasion. Bong Wang tier crystal is a crystal that I don't really like. An offensive crystal crafted for both PvE and PvP. Frankly, it is a crystal that I don't like and even think it needs to be reworked because it is a crystal that puts a little bit of everything but it is not clear what it serves. Of these triple crystals, this is the only one I don't like. I think PA should do some rework on this crystal. So how do we get these crystals? Of course, like every other crystals, the first option will be the central market. The main source of the obtaining is a black shrine bundles. Currently, we can only obtain fragments and the crystal version from the boss bundles that we regularly kill every week. You will need 9 fragments or you will need 3 crystals to craft it. Because bosses are still because bosses are still open until Calamity 7, we will be able to obtain 3 crystals directly from Calamity 8 and higher bundles. But first, they need to be added to the game. There is a currently no method to obtain crystals other than the central market and boss bundles. The second part of crystals added in the game is the crystals that we can call middle level crystals. The first of these crystals is the decimation crystal. As you can see on the screen, it provides 7 monster AP and 1% back attack damage. A very powerful crystal in PvE and you can craft it with the power crystal which gives 5 AP and you can get it from Medea questline, the only way I know. And it is very clear that you are using the crystal especially when you can give a continuous back attack. We can use two of them, these crystals, for each setup. The second crystal is the Crystal of Darkness, which is also for PvE purpose, but rarely, which can be used by certain classes in PvP, for example, for example classes that use a double stun combo with full back attack damage. This crystal provides 2 AP, 3 accuracy and 12% back attack damage. The crystal is in the same category as the Corrupted Crystal, which gives 10% crit damage and cannot be used at the same time in the same setup. It is incredibly effective in PvE, especially in spots like Gaifin, Olin, Troll, where you can continuously deal damage from back. Also very good for Black Shrine bosses where you can give continuous back attack damage. The third crystal is a Bitterness Crystal. The Frozen Bitterness Crystal is designed to provide tankiness in both PvE and PvP, and the stats it gives are really strong. Definitely the crystal that I give 10 out of 10. We can use maximum 2 in the crystal setups. How the crystals are made is not as difficult as the first three main crystals. Raw crystals can be obtained from the nodes in the Land of the Morning Light region, but it is very rare. I was able to obtain two crystals in total 20 days. In the same way as with the first three crystals, you can find their crafted versions directly from the marketplace. Also, the alternative method for the crystals is sniper hunting. You can get one crystal per hour on average by sniper hunting. You can watch my videos about sniper hunting from the Land of the Morning Light playlist on the top right. The third crystal pack is Harmony Crystals, which actually comes to improve the crystal sets that exist in the game. Boom set, Garvish set, and Makalot set. Harmony Crystal can be obtained from nodes from the Land of the Morning Light region, also from Black Shrine boss bundles. And finally, you can buy the crafted versions directly from Marketplace. So, what are my thoughts on these crystal sets? The Hanhum set is definitely ahead of the other two. Perfect set for DR innovation. 
It is an incredibly powerful set at the point you are looking for a tankiness. I already have two favorites among the new crystals. One is the highest tier and the other one is Hum set. For the Makalot set, unfortunately, I can't get close to it as well as Hum because the crystal is prepared with an offensive purpose. It gives you AP, provides stamina and gives you 8 accuracy. However, I didn't understand what the heck is that combat X in this form. And what will so little Combat Exp serve? Combat Exp is very easy to find nowadays. On the other hand, Combat Exp doesn't work when you want to use Crystal for PvP purpose. When you want to use for PvE, Stamina and Ignore Resist mostly do not work. In my opinion, if a more useful stat is added instead of Combat Exp, it may be my favorite as an offensive set. Two set effects plus 4 accuracy, 4 set effects, plus 4 accuracy. It provides a total 16 accuracy like boom set. The garbage set can be used for life skill character when you need weight limit, but it would be still be silly to use harmonic crystals for this set. You can get almost same effect even if you use the normal Han garbage set. I think it is unreasonable to spend 4 harmonic crystals for extra 40 liters. Let's move on to the life skill crystals. Added 2 different crystals. One provides life exp, 5%, the other provides 10 mastery. Mastery versions are the perfect for some situations. If we count the two extra slots opened with the Garmod's Heart, up to 160 mastery can be obtained. This is a value close to 230 mastery provided in the transition from Tatmanos accessory level to Penmanos accessory level. It is really strong mechanic to get 160 mastery this chip against 230 mastery worth hundreds of billions of silver. In addition, according to the situation, people who level up with life exp also provide life exp up to 70% in total. Okay, from this point on, I will transfer my own crystal builds to you. I will share my different crystal sets for different situations. I will share these sets to give you an idea. You will also find a standard set of crystals for seasoned players. Finally, I will share my common builds that is specific to Black Shrine bosses and can be used for every class in the game. Come on, what are we waiting for? This is the full AP focus set I use in PvE you see on the first photo. If you need accuracy, you can exchange power crystals. I don't need accuracy in many spots, but if there is an accuracy problem, you can support them with a Viper and Uncuffs. Also, my second set, which I can show as PvE set, is with this Darkness Crystal set. I recommend using the back attack crystal in situation where you can deal continuous back attack damage. Spots like Olun Gaifen Trolls, Black Shrine Bosses and etc. It becomes a really effective set in the same way you can change the power crystals in case of accuracy problem. My third set is one I preferred as a hybrid in PvP. Of course, it will differ according to the each class, but it is a good set that I prefer for the tankiness and accuracy wise. You can already see their stats on the right. As I said before, booms are very powerful. For example, classes with the grab ignore passive can use double KD ignore crystal, or classes with KD ignore debuffs such as Awakening Walkie and Awakening Sage can use two grab ignore crystals. My fourth set is a set that I prefer offensively in PvP when I encounter with a very high DR opponent where I need high damage. You can usually see this set with this and similar RBF crystals in classes such as Ranger, Archer, Wizard. People call them shotgun builds. They mostly prefer pure damage focused. In general, these are the sets I prefer for my main character Awakening Drakania. I will share two common sets for all classes, one for newbie players and one for Black Shrine bosses. I recommend the set you see on the screen for the season characters. You can both get tankiness and accuracy, and you will have no problem about them. It will allow you to grind comfortably in spots such as Oak, Cycraya, Thornwood Forest and etc. Of course, you have to be careful because your DP will be low and you will take lots of damage. The other set will be for the common use of all players. As you know, you don't need accuracy in Black Shrine. If you stack AP, you will only benefit 10% of them. It will be useful for you to choose HP stack builds completely. Setting up a crystal set where you can stack as much as HP possible will provide you with a more comfortable gaming experience. You can replace the Darkness Crystal with Corrupted for the bosses that you think you can deal permanent back attack damage. If you are a class that does not have attack speed problem, you can also exchange the Akrat Crystal with other crystals that gives HP and get plus 200 HP boost. Now I will show my friends 4 standard evasion crystal builds on the screen in order. These builds are prepared to give an idea. Of course, it will vary depending on the class and the play style. See you in the conclusion part.
Okay, since you have watched all of them, I can quickly convey my thoughts in the last part. As you know, we were struggling with very high damage in PvP until the new region came. But when you check the crystals in the new region, you will see that they are mostly defensive. In other words, you can see that the defensive ones are very effective, or very good, but the offensive ones are the not decent sets that always leave a question mark in your minds. I can say that Land of the Morning Light had a really good effect on the game in terms of tankiness. By the way, Evasion is way too better than before, but people don't know that. They need time to understand how strong is Evasion built in these days. Please listen this part is carefully. This recommendation is for all players in the game. Please try to use best in slot crystals, because players often do not understand that crystals offer strongest and cheapest stats in the game. Especially low G players should not hesitate to spend money on crystals to increase their PvE performance. I am sure PvP players will also enjoy the game better after completing their crystal setup. Please don't be afraid to spend money on crystals. You cannot get the stats crystals offer you from anywhere else. Especially the sets recently added to the game are tremendously good. These are my general experiences about crystals that I can convey to you. Please feel free to express your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Lastly, there is a free process you can do for the continuity of this and similar video content in my channel. Please, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and share it on your Discord so that it reaches more people. I hope you guys like my content. Do not forget, video is just a game. Have a nice game.